What you guys got another video here for you on how to completely erase your PCR drive or SSD in 60 seconds using red key USB. This will literally erase all of the data on your drive, whether you're sending the computer for recycle or whether you're selling the computer on. It's important that you erase all of the data on that drive. It has unlimited use and online updates and 25 different security wipe standards. Now, if you don't have a spare slot on your motherboard, you can use a riser card like this and literally put on your NVMe drive inside here and uh, put this in here. And this means you'll be able to slot this onto the board and it will then list the drives on that machine. A much easier way to do this is basically uh, put in the drive into the slot and remove the drive in there. This also takes SATA uh, drives as well. So if you've got any SATA uh, SSDs, it will take those. This is an NVMe drive here. The SATA one will need to have a cable plugged in here to the motherboard, but this one runs on uh, the actual power of the slot. So let's take a look at the actual motherboard here. I don't really need that card here, so I'm going to be plugging it straight into uh, the actual slot on the board here. There's one here. Now, sometimes motherboards have two of these, which means you could populate both of these on the motherboard. Uh, so I've got this slotted inside here. I've not got the heat spreader on there because it's only going to be a temporary measure for me to put that in there to wipe this um, NVMe drive here. And this will take literally 60 seconds to wipe the data securely on this drive. Now, some machines, like I said, do have that secondary slot here and you can populate this one as well. Uh, depending on which way you want to go about it, you can put this on here. It doesn't really matter which one it's in, but this is the actual red key here, USB. Basically, all of the software is already preloaded on here. You can update it regularly. You can update it uh, as many times as you like and use it as many times as you like in this case. I'm going to boot up to this USB drive here. You can see it automatically accepts the default settings and it should now boot up uh, to the pen drive here. You will need to change the boot order in your BIOS to do that. If you don't know how to boot to your USB flash drive, then maybe doing something like this is not advisable because this is quite a destructive way of completely securely erasing any data on the drive. So you can see here now it's asking me to select the screen resolution, it's going to load this up for me here. So I'm going to let that load up. Now it's asking me to select my language. You can select any of these languages depending on where you are in the world. You should now see red key USB data gone forever and the welcome screen will pop up here. So what we want to do next is let this load up. It does take a little bit of time, but now we should now see it getting things ready for us. So it's looking for disks on the drive and it's found that disk right there. So now I can just hit start if I want to do, and this will do a simple wipe on the machine. You can go to advanced if you want and take a look at more advanced features for this particular software. It does have 25 different types of algorithms you can use to overwrite the data that was previously on that drive, which will basically securely erase all of the data on the drive, which makes it impossible to recover. So you can see here, you can go in and choose a standard algorithm and it should be set to one, one full uh, fill. Basically, it's going to fill the whole drive and it will use trim commands and different stuff here. But you can see here, we have a bunch of different ones here, which you can choose. Now, bear in mind, these do take a bit longer to do. So choose your choice wisely because the more intense uh, that you do here, the longer the period it's going to take to actually erase data on that drive. Now, you want to be a bit mindful here on which one you choose. Uh, the one zero fill will probably uh, be enough for most people. But if you're doing something more aggressive like that, DOD uh, 5220.22 method, that is going to take many hours to complete because it needs to, you know, completely scrub the drive and it's going to take a long time. So just bear that in mind, the more aggressive, the longer it's going to take here. So this one is pretty aggressive. Let me just show you a real quick one here with a quick zero fill here. And this takes literally 21 seconds to complete. And that's done. Once it's done, the drive will be completely filled with zeros and there'll be no data on there. And there'll be no software that you can use to try to recover that data. You can see the data has been completely erased on that drive. And that was using the 21 second uh, one 
uh, with the zero fill method on there. And there's a bunch of other different ones as well you can use to erase data on your SSDs uh, to make sure there's no data that can be recovered on that drive. And that's important because if you're selling the computer or you're giving it to someone else who you don't know or you're recycling it, then it's important that you do that. Anyway, the only other method of doing this would be to literally destroy uh, the drive itself, take it out and then completely smash it up and destroy it. But then obviously that is destructive and you won't be able to use it again. But this way you can reuse the drive uh, for your own needs after the fact if you want to. Now, if you're working in a PC repair shop, then erasing data from drives is very quick and easy. You can do this uh, and give them a little printout of the data that you've erased on that drive, which will be quite useful. Anyway, I just want to say a big special thanks to all the people that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Big thank you. Your name is going up on the screen right now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.